Hey, Lou, yes, we've got some interesting questions. And one was about the Kendrick House. And that was uh, you, and, I, and they forgot exactly what you said, but they asked the question like, are you a bank? <laughs> well, yes, uh, that's a great question. Uh, are you a bank? And the answer is sort of, kind of. You're a seller and you're carrying back seller financing. Now we do it in the form of what's called an agreement for deed. Now the way that works is very similar to a vehicle. And most people are familiar with this. If you've ever bought a vehicle that was financed, what happened was the dealership kept the title to the property and they passed that title on to the lender. Now it might've been Ford Motor Credit. It might've been a third party lender, whoever it was, the dealership passed the title on to them. Now, what did they do? They let you drive off the lot. They gave you the keys. They, they let you get in the car or the truck. They let you drive off the lot. They let you enjoy it. They let you drive it anywhere place you wanted to go, put as many miles on it as you want uh, and take whatever care of it that you did. And in the meantime, as long as you make those payments, then they have a, a wonderful investment for them. And at some point when you pay that off, or you sell it to someone else and pay that off, then what happens is that they stop getting payments. Well, if they get paid off, they send you the title to the vehicle. And our agreement for deed works exactly the same way where you retain the deed to the property. However, they have a contract to get that deed. And in the meantime, they get the keys to the house, they get to move into the house. They get to enjoy the house. They get to use the backyard. They get to use everything, mow the grass, take care of the property. And as a result, it, they are building up their credit. They're building up their down payment. They're getting themselves in a position that they can eventually own that home. In the meantime, you're the bank. So you get principal, interest, taxes, and insurance on that. So you're insured in case the house burns down, you still get paid off and they still get the deed to the land. If the house is burned down, there's still land. They're still entitled to their deed to the land. And that deed is held in escrow until they pay you off. So that's a beautiful thing and a big benefit to them. And the second thing is insurance. Uh, like I said, if, if it burns down, then you get paid on that and they still get the deed to the property. So you've got the, your cake, you get to eat it too. And, and one of the best things is if they stopped paying you, now you could get the property back without having to go through a mega foreclosure proceeding. And there's variations on that depending on the state that you're in. And certainly we treat it like that the buyer has got equity in the property. So if they don't go peacefully, if they don't hand the keys back to you easily, then you can still get your property back through the process of either eviction or foreclosure and then eviction. So it just depends on what is so in your state, but the process of getting the property back may be easier by using our agreement for deed process. So that was a long answer to the question of, are you the bank? And the answer is yes, you are. <laughs>